The Adventures of Batman with Robin Boy Wonder. So it took me a while to figure out what story. It's been so long since I've done a story time. It took me a while to figure out which one to do. Got some Mexico stories. I'm not sure they translate real well. They were funny at the time. I've done England stories now. It was fun. It was really funny. Or embarrassing happened to me. A little bit. Maybe I'm gonna have to make one more. Then, uh, I have some stupid girl stories. Again, I don't think I'm gonna make a whole episode. I've got a few stories that are long enough for my spectacular stories. And as I'm, I'm rambling on, I've already forgot what I was going to make this one about. Oh, about when I worked at FedEx. FedEx if you will. Um, when I worked at FedEx, there was a lot of crazy stuff. You know, like, against the rules, we wore like Santa hats on Christmas and you know, things that aren't that great. Let me tell you, working for FedEx Ground, which does the big packages, sucks balls. And not in any sort of good way, like with heat, and maybe cold sores or something really awful. It's no, it's no ball sucking you want. And um, I had some friends that worked with me, so it kind of made it all right. And for a while, when it was really busy, um, <coughs> I had a partner in crime. Who I drive up and he run the packages out. The thing with FedEx Ground is it's not like you know UPS or FedEx Express where these guys can kind of like lollygag around and have a you know have a nice time. We had to run our asses off. Oh, we were drinking you know giant sodas and like eat whatever we got at 7-Eleven that day and then just run all day for 12 hours for a hundred dollars a day. So it was, it was an awful job. I'm glad I got fired. Apparently. Um, if you don't keep your hair well trimmed, if you they girl will fire problems, you. I feel bad for you son. Sort of an I got interesting problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got no. to So, anyway, the, the probably the funniest, there was a couple funny things that happened. Um, you'd get so bored on the road, you'd have like these really deep philosophical conversations about if there was a baby and a puppy in the road, and you had to hit one of them, which one would you hit? Um, I would hit the baby and save the puppy. I was in the minority, um, but I was in the light. So from there, one day, I decided, you know, like, uh, the guy who's with me, Jimmy, he's in the back sorting packages, and he's throwing me the ones that need to go next, and I'm going to run out, drop them off, and, uh, it's a black and mild for And I'm going to run out and deliver them while he's doing this. So he throws in his package, I run, I mean, we run full speed, we run to the door, throw the package, knock, we don't wait for someone to come to the door. That shit takes too much time. Run back to the truck, jump into the truck, and as I leap, because, you know, it's, it's pretty high off the ground, so I realize that I have completely miscalculated the I completely miscalculate this jump. And I just I have to catch myself or I'm going to eat shit. And my shins are going to bash into the steel step. So I put my hands out to stop myself. And because I'm so athletic, I miss the door. The open, you know, hole. And so I whip the door and my forearm right here bashes into the steel post and me, Jimmy's now there we watch my forearm as it looks like it wraps around I'm certain it is snapped so after my collision I just I, I land on my feet and I just walk off nothing really hurts I'm sure I'm in shock and I just start walking Jimmy's got like this nervous laughter and just like saucer eyes going are you okay? Like, just leave me alone. And I'm not really thinking clearly. I sit on the sit on the truck on the like front bumper. I just look down at my forearm. It looks fine. Interesting. 
I walk back to the truck. Jimmy, it looks like my forearm broke. He's like, dude, you had to have broken it. Well, I can use my hand. I think it's all right. Not a bruise, nothing. So we drive, we continue on like, wow, that was weird. Then slowly as I drive, I begin to like feel like something is cutting the muscle along my spine. And, and so that's pretty debilitating. I can't raise my arms past like a 90 degree angle at my elbows. And I have to keep my shoulders down. So I finish off the day, go to the doctor, and sure enough, my clumsy ass, when I collided, it didn't hurt my arm, but apparently the jolt on my body ripped muscles in my back. So, um, I think this is funny because most people like the idea of me getting hurt. I don't know why. So, I was on pain meds for a while. Um, Jimmy had his time in the sun, though. He, uh, and I'll try to throw a picture of him on here so you can see the goofy son of a bitch. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. He was running into the truck one day and jumped, and normally we grab onto the door and kind of swing in as the other one drives. Well, grabbing onto the door, he grabbed onto the fire extinguisher, and the fire extinguisher exploded in the truck. Dust everywhere. Now I want you to think about it for a second. I'm in the back of the truck, standing, sorting packages. You hear an explosion. Now the, the truck stopped. Nothing should be blowing up. You hear this explosion, and when you look up, there's just yellow dust settling everywhere. What would you have done? I think you would have done what I would have done. Fallen over laughing, and walked out of the truck. And then we got in trouble. We never did tell what we did. Oh, this shit's funny. Everybody bad man. Alright, so here's, here's a final little anecdote in case this was boring. Um, one time I was out eating with my buddy Alan, and uh, it was when I had the IBS, and he, I, he, I was riding with him. We ate at this place called the Joker's Wild, and uh, I, it was bad news. He's driving me home, and I start saying to him, dude... Everything you need I'm to hurry. Me, I you am. need to go really, really fast. And, I'm back to tear up. and he doesn't, I don't think he at the time he really understood. He's like, alright, I'll get you there. So and I'm looking at his speed. He's going like five miles they per hour. Like, no, dude. You need to really get me home. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you there. Dude, I am going to poop in your car. And I don't think you want me to actually be shitting in your car. That finally gets him to go. I just don't even bother pulling into the driveway. Just drop me off. He drops me off. The car's not done rolling. I have ran. I'm running up the stairs. I, I live in this upstairs thing, so I, I'm running up the stairs. And as I get up to the living room and I'm running into the bathroom, it dawns on me. Not really going to all the way make it. Now, I can make it to the bathroom, but I'm afraid that once I get to the bathroom, I'm not going to be able to make it to the toilet. Or if I do, the motion of sitting is going to create a problem. Oh, I forget. And I don't want to poop on my bathroom floor. Do you know what it feel like when people is passing? So what do I do? I start to disrobe as I run to the bathroom. So I'm, I'm naked and I just dive into the shower and turn it on. And I crap in the shower. Wash all of that off. I have to get like comic and like scrub like someone with OCD. I never did tell my girlfriend at the time because she'd have never been able to shower again. That was embarrassing. I pooped in the bed with that guy too. It's a good time. Alright, that's enough. That's embarrassing. People talk a shit, but when the shit hit the fan, everything I'm at, maybe everything I am.